I have my file here of where I keep the oil information for OilUSA.co and even the styling. For example, this is a great article when I was in Las Vegas. I was excited to find out about this. So it was the Las Vegas Sun, Sunday, December 9, 2012. And as soon as I walked into the coffee shop, they had an article on fracking that was sitting there in the front of the paper. And there was a little part here that I was sharing with some of my clients that were actually concerned with what fracking was. I'll read over through this. Hydraulic fracking blasts water, sand, and chemicals thousands of feet underground to break up rock formations, letting oil and gas flow more easily through them. It also has been credited for America's surging natural gas production in recent years. And so here, the title of the article goes into, Nevada has not been a traditionally strong oil producing state, but with technological advancements in hydraulic fracturing, its potential may be tapped in the coming years. It's exciting because this week, in December 2012, there are a lot of uh, meetings in Europe with OPEC and oil gas reports coming out. So I go through and I keep all my notes and keep a filing here. Some of them date all the way back. This is an amazing article from the New York Times. Date back to 2011. So here in 2011, the New York Times had a special section on energy. And you can see how much has changed by reading this article from Thursday, March 31st, 2011. You can see how much has changed not only with natural gas, the new discoveries in oil technology, the new advancements with the energy, ethanol usage. There's, a, there's been a lot of debate about the use of the materials for ethanol recently, but also there have been some new reports coming out of business periodicals in regards to fastest growing cities in states like North Dakota and Utah due to oil. And of course, what we have here in Nevada. Now around the time that I was doing research when this article came out, they were talking about the gas and oil that had been discovered in Colorado. Colorado is just growing rapidly because of all. But of course, I keep up on the periodicals. I like this book, this Opposing Viewpoints book on oil, because it gives you the pros and cons of what the critics say. Here's some oil industry news on the politics of oil. There's an oil executive from Shell Oil Company, the former president who wrote a book, Why We Hate the Oil Companies. At first, I didn't want to read this because I didn't want to delve into the negative, but I figured he was the vice president of an oil company. I wanted to get his opinion, and the title really did catch my attention. So I picked this book up, and I went through it. And I like this, on the money politics of oil. This is when I was actually trying to find out more about leadership in oil, where they were talking about the Shah of Iran, Winston Churchill, Joseph Stalin, even the, the issues between the European allies and the Germans and the hunt for oil in North Africa and the Middle East, and then even popular movies and how the movies will go into Lawrence of Arabia and what that interaction had to do with the oil companies. And so this was a very exciting book on oil, but I like the opinion of these professionals, and I make sure that I get lots of them and read. I also was very impressed there was a book by Kramer on George D George Bush Sr. and how he got into the oil business with Secretary of State James Baker and the work that they did with oil. So it's good to keep up with all of these sources and to check out what new books are coming out. And a lot of these books were written before the United States got excited about fracking. And I'm getting more excited about the information coming out on fracking, too, in regards to southern Nevada, Las Vegas, and how it's going to help the economy here. And if you look through in this article, there's just a lot of 
developments that are hard to keep up with because a lot of science and technology research is being done in regards to, for example, I just got information sent to me in an envelope from the Colorado School of Mines in Golden, Colorado, and I found out about that school by interviewing people that were studying petroleum in Texas, and then I went online and I saw that some of the universities for studying petroleum in the Middle East were hiring English teachers that they were paying over a hundred thousand dollars a year and some of the teachers were talking about how they had their own drivers and chauffeurs to take them to and from school because the demand for doing business and teaching English in the Middle East at the universities that teach with through the colleges of petroleum are advancing so rapidly. So it's good to keep up with these books and find out what these leaders have to say.